Good morning people, fellow tubers. You'll remember I made this stone guard thing out of um, aluminium composite material. Give it a quick paint and put some uh, under seal on there. Well it was on the bike for about four weeks and I thought I'd take it off and just see how it's faring. It's um, got a bit of spray from wet weather and stuff and those cracks that uh, it happened when I was forming it, it didn't get any worse or anything, it's still quite strong. Um, the deadening material didn't melt or do anything crazy. Just, yeah, no, it's quite good. So I thought, I found some more of this stuff. So I thought I'd bend it and I'll show you, <laughs> I'll show you how I did that. What I did was I got a, one of these ladders that fold out and just lock into place and I um, got another sheet of this stuff I cut it down to size, the, the wider size I needed so I was going to make another stone guard I put it in there and I'll, I'll just uh, so I can see, you can see what's going on here There we go, I attached Drilled two holes, attached some weights, so this is under pressure, and I got the uh, heat gun, and I heated this part of it here, and it was bending okay, I think, and uh, I did have it on video on my little uh, action camera, but for some reason all my files got corrupted, so I assume it was the, S the, the micro SD card, but uh, anyway. Um, so anyway, then I had this weights attached, heated up, and I just left it there, left it there, hoping it would just bend naturally. And the wife called me up for lunch, so I just left it like that. Came back down, and uh, it all delaminated, I think, because of the heat. <laughs> so uh, that was no good. So what I did was I cut it off, cut off that delaminated bit. And then I just put this back in here and I found the best method just to put it in the plate and just bend it down like that using four things. It's quite a nice curve on it now. And uh, no cracks, which is good. It's just smooth as. So I think you could use that. You could use this material as a stone guard, no problem whatsoever. It's going sort of similar to my original design, but what I'd do if I did it again, just make that the correct, find the centre, make it down like that, and then just, just a bit go straight across. And that would give you more protection for the side of your motor. Anyway, if that's, you know, it's a nice cheap, cheap way of doing it, if you can get some of this material. And, um, yeah. The bike was a little bit more noisy, bit more noise coming up from the motor. Yeah, but yeah, nothing to worry about. So, yeah, give it a go if you've got some. I'll see you later, eh? Well, here's something else you might be interested in, I just... Um, reading a motorcycle magazine the other day in which they have a resident mechanic who gives advice on various bikes and stuff some guy asked him how does he clean his chain well I was reading it and it, uh, I found it quite interesting actually he, um, he doesn't use the method I've been using which is uh, a bit of kerosene on a rag so I used to Get the old kerosene on the rag, hold the chain and then wipe it down like this. Which yeah, sort of gets a bit get it gets it cleanish but not not as good as uh, the method he suggested, which is give some kerosene in a jar and then using an old toothbrush just clean the chain with this kerosene in the toothbrush. So 
So you go around the whole chain with your toothbrush, which is falling to pieces. <laughs> uh, don't think it likes the cures thing. <laughs> so that gets all the, the gunk off your chain, hopefully. So I'll just carry on here for a while, and I'll be back in a minute. The thing is, um, with these chains on bikes these days, they're uh, uh, sealed, uh, O-ring or X-ring or some other bloody ring, but they're um, all the lubricants sealed inside, so really all you're trying to do is keep the outside just a little bit of moisture on it, you don't want it shit spraying everywhere. The more gunk you seem to put on them, the more um, dirt and sand and other stuff you seem to collect. So in his his, his um, article explaining how he cleans his chain, we've done the uh, kerosene and the toothbrush, he um, pours a little bit of uh, engine oil in a rag and then um, just holds that around the chain and lubricates it that way. Which, you know, when you think about it, stands to reason. Because you only just want to find a fine um, film on that chain. You don't want it spraying everywhere and collecting dirt and stuff. So, I think I'll go around there. Here comes my grandson. <laughs> no, she won't be awake yet. Is there like a siren that tells you in school that tells you there's a tornado? I oh, don't know, someone has to someone has to uh, make the siren go. So someone has to tell the person that knows how to work the siren that there's a tornado coming. Oh, so, so only, it can only be used for um, babies? Mm. Okay, so if you look at that chain, yeah. it looks pretty clean. Got. I'm not talking to you, Kenyon. <laughs> hey, don't hit me. So, yeah. We'll try this method and see how it comes out. Kenny. <laughs> Thanks for watching. That's okay, Papa. <laughs> I think you're a cheeky little bugger. <laughs> Wait, let me just say something. Did you get fat?